business owners, small town leaders, studio visionaries, college graduates, your next door neighbor. These are the faces of the Georgia TV and film industry. The movie business really saved this business. Georgia has everything to offer, and that's what makes it so exciting to be here, to be in this moment. It feels more available for people to like come in and, and start working. They live here, they work here, and they are the reason why Georgia attracts hundreds of productions every year. Right along I-285, just inside the perimeter, is home to the newest production studio in the state, Assembly Atlanta. I'm inside one of the state-of-the-art sound stages that crews will turn into sets. Whether you realize it or not, spaces like this provide Georgians with thousands of jobs. I'm Monica Pearson, host of Why Georgia? Join me as we take a look at why Georgia's experiencing major growth in the TV, film, and gaming industries. I think it's going to be transformative to this marketplace to have something like Assembly here. As the head of Georgia's film office looks over multi-studio plans for Assembly, she's excited to see how the development will transform the film industry. It's just amazing to see what is going to happen here over the next year or two. But to Lee Thomas, the growth she's witnessing in Georgia is no surprise. We have a great tax incentive. We have a deep and very experienced crew base. Uh, we have a lot of infrastructure, a lot of sound stages like the one you're seeing here. We have ease of access of Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. We have diverse locations. If you think about Georgia, I mean, we have mountains and coastlines and big cities and small towns. We have a temperate climate. You can shoot pretty much year round. The quality of life in Georgia, coupled with the big budget film opportunities, are why Ozark producer Matt Spiegel made Georgia his home. There is such great infrastructure here in town, and so you get great projects of, of a world-class nature. There is uh, an incredible crew base here, which is one of the top in the world. And then you also have all of these purpose-built sound stages that have, that have developed over the last five to ten years, uh, including the one that we're at right now, Third Rail, which is, which is again, a world-class facility. And then when you add on top of that the tax incentive that the state of Georgia offers, that's the trifecta. And then on a personal level, it's great for me because my family has settled in here. My kids have been very happy here. My wife is very happy here. The additional stage space under construction at Assembly will attract even more big budget features. We went from having 45,000 square feet of purpose-built soundstage space in 2010 to having 2.1 million square feet of purpose-built soundstage space and 3.2 million square feet of retrofitted stage space, and it's still not enough. That's why Assembly Atlanta is creating space to produce incredible content and also to serve the community. As we see uh, the market change and special effects become more integral to the filmmaking process, it's really important to have, you know, big stage space. Our state is an incredible place to live and to work. If you've been here for a while, you know Georgia wasn't always known as the Hollywood of the South. The film tax credit is one of the major reasons for the significant growth. As we look at the future of film in Georgia, it's also important to remember where we started. I mean, we had a history in, in the film uh, business. You know, Jimmy Carter started our office actually in 1973 because of the movie Deliverance, which shot in Raven County in 1972. So kind of inauspicious beginnings as that, as that went, but he realized that this is, you know, money coming from outside the state and bringing money to a very poor part of the state. And he wanted to figure out how to get more. Lee Thomas is more than familiar with the TV, film, and gaming productions in the state. But she's also a Georgia native who knows her state history. 
So you think about the 70s and the 80s here in Georgia, um, you know, all of like Glory and Driving Miss Daisy and Fried Green Tomatoes and, you know, My Cousin Vinny and like all of the Burt Reynolds movies, right? So there had uh, a crew base had, had been built up and there was some infrastructure in place. Fast forward to the 90s and film and TV projects were still happening in Georgia but at a slow and steady rate. We would do probably, you know, in the late 1990s, we might do five or six projects in a year. Jump ahead to today. Normally we do about 350 or more. So that's, you know, that's gonna be a television series or uh, feature films or commercials or music videos, but mostly uh, television series and feature films. The driving factor, an impressive tax incentive passed in 2008. Georgia's Entertainment Industry Investment Act provides tax credits of up to 30% on film, television, and digital projects. That's a significant cost savings for companies producing feature films, TV series, commercials, and interactive games and animation. I mean, everything completely changed for us. I mean, we were trying to find any kind of warehouse that could support film and television. We had shows in the World Congress Center, which is typically used for trade shows and is back to using for trade shows. We definitely had to find a way to find more stage space. And I think, you know, in the metro area, there's, there's very little of this kind of land that is perfect for a soundstage development. The shortage of stage space is one reason why entertainment developments like Assembly are needed for continued growth. You know, it's, it's pretty exciting to see stages just cropping up all over Georgia. A stage is going up here on the west side, on the north side. It's just like stages is just cropping up and it's a very exciting time. Tammy Williams has witnessed the expansion of Georgia film and TV firsthand. She's the CEO of Tammy Dell Films, whose credits include documentaries and educational content like Ernie and Serby and My Mother Was a Butterfly. Williams is also building Cinema South Studios in Fayetteville, Georgia, just down the road from Trillith and Tyler Perry Studios. We saw how the industry was booming. It's like, wait, you know, we want to be a part of that. We want to be a part of productions coming here, but we also want to have a place to create content. That growth is what has those embedded in the film industry thrilled to see what happens in the future with assembly and at sound stages across the state. It's great to see that now, you know, when productions come in, they are pulling from Georgia. So much so, people are like booked these days. Continue to bring your productions here, and we're going to continue to expand. And, and that's why, you know, we have Cinema South Studios to be a part of that expansion. It's amazing uh, to think what could happen. And now with the proliferation of all the different platforms and streaming services, um, it's hard to say where it could end up. For film and TV, the tax credit has really catapulted Georgia to a new place, a new level, and given us exposure to the world and the markets to, to come to Georgia. There's monetary reasons to come here. And now with uh, Assembly Project and others like that, the infrastructure is also here to support the growing demand of content. Georgia has such unique um, places hidden everywhere and it's very spacious. I hope to be able to work at Assembly in the future. I'm really looking forward to that. It's just an exciting thing, not just for the film industry, but for the state of Georgia as a whole. It's like, it brings in so much work, so many jobs, there's so many vendors involved with it. It touches so many different aspects and elements of uh, people's lives that, that a lot of people don't think about. Georgia has it all. Tax incentives, a great climate, easy transportation, but when the TV and film industry started to grow here, a key ingredient was missing, a strong crew base. Thanks to programs like the Georgia Film Academy, our state is full of talented individuals ready to work on the set. It's just very exciting to be very close to the Hollywood of the South. Lauren McCartney is an aspiring director who plans to work in the film industry in Atlanta after she graduates because of her experience at the Georgia Film Academy, she is ready for the set. I definitely want to sharpen up a lot of skills, but I definitely do feel prepared if, you know, tomorrow someone were to ask me, oh, could you direct something? Could you be the production designer? With full confidence, I feel like I could do it. Located adjacent 
to Trillith Studios in Fayetteville, Georgia. Students at the Georgia Film Academy learn from the best. A lot of the professors here have worked in the industry, so it's nice to get those connections and learn what it's really like to work in the industry. Athena Studios is providing new opportunity for students at University of Georgia. I feel like I'm going to work in a sense, you know, having that experience to be at a studio every day and just see everything that's going on, everything that's happening, I feel like it's a great opportunity. Uh, the most useful aspect of this space for us is, is probably the ability to go from a smaller classroom setting into a large scale studio space where we have full control, including like light and sound. UGA students and the Georgia Film Academy are utilizing a 14,000 square foot soundstage at Athena to create sets and shoot in studios. It's invaluable experience for students, especially those with big dreams. I have this desire to kind of touch uh, as many elements of the film industry as I can. I want to go into screenwriting for television. I want to be a TV writer. So I feel like Athena Studios prepares me for that because it provides that experience where I get to see how things are happening behind the scenes. The producer of hit series, Ozark, says highly trained crews are what attract major productions to the state. Many times when you go to a place outside of Los Angeles or New York, you wind up bringing 75-80% of your crew from out of town. In Georgia, because there's so many talented craftsmen and creative department heads, on the projects that I've done, we've had anywhere from 80 to 90% of the crew being local, which is an incredible boost for any production that is coming into town. We often hear that producers, when they leave here, they say it's the best crew I've ever had, the most experienced, the nicest crew I've ever had. So that is a huge selling point. And most of our business is return business. So when they work here, they usually want to come back. The Georgia Film Academy started offering classes in spring of 2016. In six years, more than 10,000 students have registered for classes. This Georgia Film Academy graduate now has dozens of credits to his name, and his success story is just one of thousands. How the industry is transforming our workforce and giving an extra boost to our small towns. Ozark, Stranger Things, The Walking Dead, Marvel Movies, Anchorman 2, Forrest Gump. There are so many Georgia greats. TV shows and movies filmed all across our state. Now production teams are using our towns as backdrops and the sets are full of homegrown talent. As Moses Conrad Norman looks over construction at Assembly Atlanta, one word comes to mind, opportunity. We've got so many studios popping up. I mean, right here where we are, there's a new studio being built right now and they're just keeping on coming because there's so much content that can be shot here. As an Atlanta native, Norman always knew he wanted to work in the entertainment industry. I started out always knowing I wanted to do something in sound, whether it be music engineering, music production, anything kind of like that. I hit up my buddy, Ryan Danette Smith, who was a producer here and he was doing a short film. And uh, I just had a little bit of interest in doing sound on location. Once I got on set, you know, the, the energy and the collaboration and the fun you have with everybody on the set was really what kind of like drew me in to really start putting a lot of my effort into it. But I knew there was like something kind of missing, some like fundamentals I wanted to get. So I found out about Georgia Film Academy. From there, it just, it just took off. I mean, Everything started popping off. I got offers for this, offers for that. So I mean, I really give GFA a lot of the credit to pushing my career forward and getting me to the place that I am today. And although he could have moved to LA or New York to launch his career, he chose to stay here in Georgia. Compared to the price of living in LA or New York, like you can actually afford to live here. You know, I also am an Atlanta native, so that helps. But even if I wasn't, I'd still want to come here. The feeling is mutual for Nina Santiago, who is getting her start 
in the film industry. I thought about moving to LA, but um, since I'm from here and I love the city, like I just wanted to be part of the growing industry here, especially with like assembly coming together and like it's just gonna be more jobs and like more films. She wrapped up a hands-on internship at Third Rail Studios. So we've kind of been able to do a little bit of everything under the film umbrella. Like we've toured facilities, we've learned to give tours of Third Rail, and then we've also worked with industry professionals, doing roundtables with them, learning a little bit about like their experience in the field, especially in Atlanta here. And the biggest part of our internship was creating a short film. So we had like full creative freedom over that. Because of her experience, Santiago has big plans for the future. Hopefully I'll be either like a production coordinator or working somewhere on set. Um, I really wanna go towards the producing route right now and um, still be making my own short films and own films on the side and always writing. Plans that she hopes to accomplish here in Georgia. It's so new. It, it feels more like available. It feels more available for people to like come in and, and start working rather than some like industry like in LA where everything's kind of already there and it's a lot harder to break into. I and mean, we've had over 150 productions, you know, here in our community. About 35 miles east of Atlanta, the city of Covington has experienced growth from the TV and film industry. We don't have any vacancies on our square, which is very, very big in terms of economic development. In 2021, it was estimated $100 million in tourism spending in Newton County. Um, and that saves about $200 uh, household in terms of taxes. I ask everybody where they're from. We had three different families here from uh, London. They didn't know each other. They just happen to all be here at the same time. So we have visitors from all over the world. And we're excited to kind of show off our, our little town and, uh, and, you know, extend some Southern hospitality to all of them. The business boom is part of what attracted Senegalese Three Ring to transform more than 160 acres in Covington into studios. The small town feel of Covington and its and its film history with its you know its built-in backlot with the town square in Covington, plus the available land that allowed us to build this facility and have room for expansion was a major draw. We have serviced the First Lady on Showtime that first season. We've done. P Valley season two, uh, NBC's Dancing with Myself, as well as Wild It Out season 18. Uh, those are just a few to name, uh, and we have some filming right this second. And construction is already underway to more than double the available stage space. We are adding eight new sound stages, um, a brand new office space, uh, over 100,000 square feet of office space and vendor support space. Um, we added two new mills, they're actually up and ready. Uh, so we're expanding quickly and rapidly and excited to take on new clients in third or fourth quarter 2023. It's all about being able to provide our clients with more options and more stages and more space. The economic impact felt by productions runs deep, often leaving a footprint even years after the final wrap. A 100-year-old family business was about to close its doors. We really didn't know what the future was going to look like for us. But now a dozen trucks a day are loaded up and headed to sets across the state. The single phone call that changed the future. For nine years in a row, Area Development Magazine named Georgia as the top state for business. If you take a look around, you can see the signs everywhere. Cranes, construction crews, redevelopment projects. Business is booming. And that's just one reason why Georgia is attracting a record number of productions. We stock a lot of what they call engineered lumber, which is like floor trusses and all back over that way. For Chip Kofer, owner of Kofer Brothers in downtown Tucker, Georgia, the TV and film industry is big business. We've got about 100 SKUs dedicated just for the movie business. But that's not always been the case. 
During the 2008 recession, Kofor wasn't sure how the 100-year-old business was going to survive. I didn't want to be the third generation to close this business. You know, that's, that would have been a tough pill to swallow. Until he got a phone call from the set of a television show filming here in Georgia. The fella called me just out of the blue. I remember the last thing he said was, I got to go to the front of the line. I need to break in line if I need something. Can you handle that? And I said, yes, sir. We will handle that. The company handles requests with the same sense of urgency today. It's very fast paced. They always need everything yesterday, um, but it, that's what makes it fun. It keeps us on our toes. Some days we can have two trucks waiting on us when we open. Some days it can be 10 trucks waiting on us when we open. When they come, nine times out of 10, the orders are complete and we try to get the production in fast. <laughs> in and out, and that's, that's our main goal, is to cater to them for the most part. It's such a rewarding experience to, for us to get involved in something that basically really saved this business. The experience for Kofor Brothers is not unique. Atlanta Film Consultants serves as the connection between film crews and small businesses around Metro Atlanta and has seen the exponential growth firsthand. With our business, it started out really focusing on helping productions find local experienced crew. What started to happen is they were coming to us more as, looking to us more as consultants. So asking which entertainment lawyers really are the best to work with for their type of production, or accountant firms, which ones to work with there. From there, the request expanded to all industries. If you think about it, a film is like setting up a small business. Catering industries, the real estate industry, car rentals, hotels, prop houses, accountants, law firms. Film comes here not just because of the tax credit. I think they come here for the for the vendors and for the film crew and the fantastic studios that we have and are continuing to build, which we need. I hope it continues to grow. I hope we continue to need to look for more items that they might need to help them out. It's so fun when I go to the movies or stream something on TV and can say, you know, I was a part of that. The relationship between businesses and productions in Georgia will continue to set the entire state up for future success. And the future is certainly bright. Companies already are meeting the need for more space. Cinema South Studios just opened in Fayetteville. Athena Studios pushed geographic limits and opened in Athens. Tyler Perry Studios is just one of several studios expanding to add more stage space. Now it's up to all of us to make sure the success continues. Visit whygeorgia.com for ways that you can support Georgia Film. Thanks for watching this episode of Why Georgia. I'm Monica Pearson.